Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on with a highly requested video and this is how to cut an intricate die. A lot of you are having trouble um, cutting intricate dies, something like this that has a lot of detail. So today I'm coming on to show you how I cut out intricate dies and how all the pieces will fall out, no problem. So let's get started. Basically what you're gonna need obviously is your die cut machine. Um, I'm using my Big Shot Plus today. Um, with this machine you have to use an adapter plate and this is the adapter, um, I believe the A. And then this is called a precision base plate for intricate thinlets. And this one is made by Sizzix. Um, there are different kinds of um, base plates that you can purchase, um, or I should say thin metal plates. I'll link everything down in the description box below. Um, I use both, but I really do like this Sizzix one. It really works well for me. So um, let's get started. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this over. As you can see, this has heavily been used. I'm going to slide it into my die cut machine. I already have my paper ready to go. Now, the key to this is, is using wax paper. And you can use generic or store brand. It doesn't really matter, they work. So I'm positioning this underneath my pattern paper. I'm going to lay my um, die facing down. And then I'm going to take my um, cutting plate and I'm going to stick it in. And I'm also going to use um, a piece of heavyweight cardstock. Um, I'm going to use it on top just as like a security. I want to make sure that I have enough pressure um, so that all the pieces fall out. And I find that just using a heavy uh, weight piece of cardstock really does help. Um, if you're like me, you just want to shake it a few times and be done with it and move on to the next cut. Um, you don't want to sit there and have to poke out each individual little piece. So that's why I use this on top of using the precision base plate. Um, sometimes it will work um, no problem, but um, I just like to do it uh, just in case. So I'm running this through front and back. And I'll do it one more time just to make sure it's gone through. And I will remove my cutting um, plate and I'm gonna take this off. As you can see, it is looks like it's cut all the way through. Now, this is what I typically do over a trash can because you see it makes a mess. All you have to do is slightly knock it out with your fingers and voila this comes off the wax piece comes off and there you have your intricate die cut beautiful every single piece fallen out no issues all right so please i hope that you um take these tips and use them they work on really any die seriously um so now you should never have a problem cutting intricate dies ever again. <laughs> Check the description box below for the products that I used in today's video. Of course, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.